Another upgrade kit from Matrix Workshop. Let's find out what's inside. Welcome back to my channel. In today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at Transformers Matrix Workshop Upgrade Kit, the M26. And if you're new around here, please remember to subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and leave a comment. With that being said, let's begin. And here we have the weaponry out of the box, and you get these two weapons here, and they do come with a 5mm peg right there, so you can put it in his hand. The overall the molded detail is fantastic. I do like it. We got the black up here. One thing I did notice this comes off. Um not sure why. I mean it's two separate pieces of course, so if you want to glue them together to keep this on, that's you know, that's fine. Um I don't see a problem with this whatsoever. It does stay on once it's on. But nothing uh, deal breaking on that. I think the price point on TF Safari, that's where I got these for, I believe, $13.99. Now I bought not just this, I bought a couple other kits with it, so I did get a little bit of a discount. So that was the only way I threw this in, just to pick something else out I was kind of kind of wanting before, but just didn't want to buy this on its own. I wanted to save some money there which saving money is always a good thing but overall let's take a look at this one does this come off I just want to see yeah these do come off but overall I think they did a good job on the molding detail can't deny them that whatsoever from Matrix Workshop they always do good not uh, really good nice stuff so there we go so you can act as like this is the magazine, you got to reload and stuff like that or something, I don't know. Something. Something different. Something more interesting. So. And here is one more thing I wanted to show off right now before I get into equipping crosshairs. Um, I had an idea of using two of these blue blast effects and two red ones of the same kind that I have and do something with them, but I will they are not blast effect compatible looks like they want to go on but they don't and I mean I could try to force this on but then it's gonna stretch it out and then they may not go on uh, some of the other ones and it's gonna you know I don't I don't want that kind of problem with, with my stuff so as far as I'm concerned these are not blast effect compatible so anyway what we want to take a look is What does he look like? So he has an extra blaster and everything. It's pretty good. So he can dual wield if he wants. So it's pretty good overall. Looks good. So you're going to have dual weaponry. But see as I'm trying to twist these off, this is coming off. So I don't know if that's I don't know. It's okay. Yeah, I'm just pulling these off. Just wiggle them off. There. Okay. Now I gotta put these black pieces back on. So overall, I think the set is interesting. It does give something else for like crosshairs to kind of stand out differently between Ironhide and Ratchet. So you can mount him up on his shoulder, which is pretty cool. But overall, you can get them both on. Double shoulder cannons. Hit all the uh, flying Cybertronian Decepticons, I would say. Or on Earth, uh, the Seekers as well. So I think that's pretty cool. 
And here we have Crosshairs in his Cybertronian vehicle mode. And overall, I think it does give an extra dynamic to him to kind of stand out differently from Ironhide and Ratchet, since Ratchet is more of the medical officer and Ironhide is the weapons specialist. So this gives Crosshairs more of an art an artillery unit kind of thing so I like that glad that I did pick this up um, but overall there's one thing these pegs are not on like hinges or anything like some of the previous uh, matrix workshop uh, upgrades that they have done in the past this is completely straight these won't go up so I was thinking when I was putting these on I was like oh yeah cool you put them on the top here and then you'd be able to aim up and everything but unfortunately these don't this is exactly what you can do is do with it um, could you store them you know backwards or whatever sure I guess you could you do pretty much whatever you want on these you know just kinda of store them like that or pull this up and just kinda of, I don't know why you would want to store it like that but you know you get the idea of what you can kind of do with these. I guess you could put them in his pegs, but then the guns be like aiming up or whatever. But uh, you know, but use these as thrusters maybe that are not blast effect compatible, of course. So my final thoughts on Transformers Matrix Workshop, the M26. Overall, it's okay. Um, it does give that, like I said, that extra artillery touch for this figure to kind of stand out a little bit more differently just other than his colors and having a new uh, head sculpt but the blasters are not blast effect compatible and they do not have a hinge so they are wherever way you peg them in that's the way they're gonna they're gonna face and that's pretty much it they are cool though they have nice molded detail and with the 5mm holes, you can place them in many different ways to customize, either as shoulder mounts or on his forearms or as uh, dual wielding hand blasters. So there's a couple different options with that. And I'm happy I still got it, but this one had been like one of my top ones to must get first. So, but overall, it's okay. But that's going to be it for the review. Thank you for watching. And thank you to all my subscribers for helping me reach 200 subs uh, last week. And as of today, I'm pushing, I'm getting closer and closer to 250. So, man, I'm just excited. I just, I'm um, just stunned on... Uh, I haven't even been doing this very long, and uh, I'd just like to say thank you. And uh, I'll be bringing more Transformer content very soon.